closing arguments. Our Amber Nicotra was in that courtroom all day long and joins us live from downtown tonight. Amber. Well, the jury was sent home for the weekend. They did not reach a verdict just yet. Now, they did have a question about an hour ago regarding one of the charges John Rush faces. But even before all of that, there was a lot of drama that erupted inside the courtroom. The jury started deliberating after closing arguments with the defense going first and for nearly an hour. Aaron Sons, who represents John Rush, the 22 year old man accused of fatally stabbing K 9 Rocco and injuring three officers earlier this year, told the jury to keep an open mind and to not believe what the police say just because they say so, calling their story impossible and that it didn't make sense. Rush claims he stabbed the canine in self defense and said Rocco's handler, Officer Philip Lurza, stabbed himself. But prosecutor Jennifer D. Giovanni said it's that story which is preposterous, saying that Russia's version of what happened is nothing but a story made up, incredible, and unbelievable. Because there are no pairs of his race, I do not feel this is going to be a fair trial. Before closing arguments even started, drama erupted in the courtroom when Rush's mother, Renee Rush, was thrown out of the trial when she shouted out while an officer was testifying that none of the jurors are black, saying her son is biracial. Rush took the stand in his own defense and said he only wanted to injure the dog, not kill it, so it would stop coming at him while police were taking him into custody earlier this year. We don't feel, his father and I don't feel that he is going to have a fair trial because there are no peers of his color on the jury. And we feel that there should have been peers of his color on the jury. The jury will continue deliberations Monday morning at 9 a.m. Reporting live from outside the Allegheny County Courthouse, I'm Amber Decotra, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.